not a city you'd usually associate with street art, probably partly because of Brisbane City Council's vendetta on graffiti. So any street art that hangs around for a long time is probably left over from the annual street art festival. However, there is one street artist who seems to have won over the haters, and his work has become iconic of Brisbane. And if you live in Brisbane and you haven't seen his work, you really haven't gotten out enough. So last week I was actually privileged to speak with the Blue Art Ninja. That's Ninja with an X. And uh, so stick around and uh, we'll hear what he had to say. My first piece was a little squiggle on the wall over there, and that was um, when I was body, beeping, body painting people here using blue because it's my favorite color. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just sort of happened. And that was before I, I was ninja. Yeah, soon after I, I made this suit because uh, I wanted to go to exhibitions. People can take my photo and you know, you can still tag you in the photo. And um, because of it, it's connected to illegal art, you know, you don't want your face in it. So I was like, that's perfect. To, yeah, and no, it just sort of uh, just sort of happened, really. Yeah. I don't know. That's the general artist question. Yeah, it just just comes to me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've been in the city for about 20 years and, and in about, so I, I just I just see them, you know. In general graffiti artists, they need a decent sized wall. The beauty of my work is that it can go anywhere. If I'm walking around town, I see a, a piece of concrete wall or a, or a bit of anything really, like, you know, it could just, it can slot in there anywhere. So yeah, it depends on uh, the shape of the, the wall or if it's up high and I thought, oh, a bird would look nice there. Bird go, can go there. And uh, yeah, that's how I started going up high actually because people kept taking down the low ones. So I thought, well, I'm a ninja, let's just climb up places and put, yeah, and birds sort of fit. So yeah, first I started with these small curls and then it came into birds. Now I do anything really, but yeah. climbing yeah up the drain pipe or um i have recently bought a little ladder so i had to replace uh, a big eagle piece the other day and i used the ladder so but i still had to go up onto the ledge and then climb along the ledge so and stick it out you know <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was a bit of a bit of grabbing and a bit of yeah yeah general ninja work yeah yeah A lot of the time I don't know because I put it up there and the public sees it and occasionally get, oh, I get people I know tell me uh, I love it and everything. I mean, generally, yeah, they, they love it. Like, uh, if it gets taken down, obviously, maybe the, the building owner didn't want it there, but usually it stays there. So, so I can assume that they like it, yeah. <laughs> I quite like that one, the, the glitch man on the wall there. That's got a lot of love, you know. I see it pop up on Instagram a lot, so that. Well, I've yet to make my masterpiece, so yeah. I'll tell you what I want, want to do is, is a giant bug, like a cicada or something with blue wings, and put it right up on the side of the Maya Center or something. It just appears there one day, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite one, <laughs> yet to make. So favorite hasn't happened yet. That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's getting better, you know, uh, we've got a lot of catch up to do from Sydney, definitely Melbourne, but um, that was the reason why I started really was to make Brisbane, put Brisbane uh, on the street, mark, uh, street art map a bit more, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, again my pieces are nice and they hopefully well appreciated with everyone and it's sort of given the attitude of the Brisbane City Council towards graffiti at least, you know, they're, they're totally against that, so. That was a nice uh, halfway meet, you know, where they can accept it, and, and they have actually, you know. But yeah, not really political. I, I try and stay away from that, I guess. You know, if you have the wrong political idea, then well, you suddenly there's this division there. So, don't want that, you know. I want people to go, anyone to look at it and go, I like that. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, 
sure. Um, I, I do have a, a store, online store. I don't really advertise it. Just if people find it, they do. And then, but I can tell you about it. So it's <laughs> it's uh, I just blew out ninja at I think a big cartel. So if you search for big big cartel, it'll pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that one was through Queensland Rail, and that was because uh, I did a piece on uh, the central station on the chimney. It was, it was smoke. It was just like a bit of smoke. And um, everyone loved that. And so when they refurbished the building, they had to take it down. And there was like, why are you taking that down? And they were like, oh, no. So they went, well, to appease that, they said, well, we'll, we'll let you do some art at another station. And I was quite happy with that, and they were happy. So it was all it was a win-win. You know, it was a paid piece. So, yeah, it was good. So um, they did say maybe we can do some more and I was like we can do that too but uh, just with the whole COVID situation their budgets up and down so it's like we'll call you and I was like oh, that's fine when you're ready <laughs> yeah yeah but I can take any commissions yeah you know yeah, any reasonable offer you know so now you've met the blue art ninja it really is a oh come on <laughs> It's going to be a while. So now you've met the Blue Art Ninja. Uh, he really is a Brisbane icon. Now I've linked his Instagram and Facebook pages below. And uh, so check them out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and let me know what you'd like to see. And also if you've seen any of Blue Art Ninja's work, uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for now. And uh, I'm going to go before that air conditioning thing kicks on again. All right, and uh, see you in the next video.